Yes, and welcome everybody back to Oakfield Farm. We've got our belly full of some bacon and eggs, and it's time to get back into some farming. So let's jump out the uh, door here. What I'm going to do, it's a bit foggy out here today, but what we're going to do today, everybody, is we are going to do some farm expansion. It's about time to spend just a little bit of that money we've got saved away. Let's throw on the uh, lights here on our, on our uh, truck here, a.k.a. Death Trap. Let's get around there without... Uh, Knock anything over. Oh, gee, just about knocked over that mushroom. Those mushrooms, I reckon they're made out of concrete, I'm pretty sure. And as I said, I think, in the last episode, you smash one of those, it's all over Red Rover. But anyway, guys, what I thought I would do is I've been thinking about buying a new field and then uh, just giving ourselves a bit more capacity to produce a little bit more grain. And um, that potential income will increase as a result of that. And this is the field that I think I'm going to get. If I just jump into the map here, it's field number 15. Let's just zoom in. And it's very close to our farm, so it's going to be nice and easy just to transport grain to and from our silos. But also if we need to take it up and sell it, it's in a decently uh, central point. It's a massive field. It's 7.74 acres or something like that. And at the moment, it's just grass, though. So I'm going to have to do a bit of field preparation to get it up to speed. I did think about, though, I, what I actually wanted to do is buy a field that was already um, uh, that had already been, already been um, planted and was ready to harvest, so you get a free harvest. But there just wasn't anything close by that really met, the, uh, met my needs there. So what I think I'll do is I'll pick up field number 15. So here we go. If we just jump out of our truck here and run along to the field... It's George Watson's field, 7.27 oh, 7 hectares. Did I say acres? Anyway, anyway, $117,000. It's definitely a bit of a a bit of an investment, but there we go. We now own field number 15. So what we're going to have to do, everybody, is we're going to have to turn this field into, um, into something that we can actually plant, and that's going to require a plough. Now, I'm just going to park this car under the tree over here. Let's hope some birds don't poo on it. But to do that, we're going to need a decent sized plough because at the moment we've only got this plough right here, the Coon Very Master 153. It's only two, uh, sorry, it's only two metres wide. And that's going to take all day if we're going to look to create a field. So let's take a look at the Titan, I think, is the one to go. Just judging by horsepower, I think I could go for the Salford, the 8312, but that is, is exactly my uh, Massey Ferguson 8700. Um, statistics in terms of horsepower so I think it'll just struggle if it has to go up any hills or anything like that so let's stick to the 4.9 meter and let's just lease it I just want this for a one-off sort of job here so there we go and the kind folks oh, hold on the kind folks at the store have decided to deliver it to me so let's just go ahead and do that uh, boom there we go reset that right there boom for yes Back. Okay, let's find our Massey Ferguson. Oh, I knew it. It's way over the other side of the map. So I'll get one of my workers, and this is how you do that. We'll get them to deliver this back to the yard. Boom. That's how we do it, guys. It should have been more organized. Doesn't matter. Oh, and that weight I better get back to because that thing is going to be pretty heavy. So let's take a look here. Let's reset that one. I don't know which, weight, which weight's which, to be honest. I think they're exactly the same. There's two of them. Uh, oh, they might not be the same. That's an SP1000, and that is an SP700. Let's reset both of them. I'm not too sure where that other one is. And here we go. Start up our beast. And this, this fog's a bit annoying. It's all good, though. It's all part of the atmosphere, isn't it, everybody? Well, let's just zoom this in here. Now, what I also have done... Is I was a bit worried about the capacity of my silos. As you can see at the moment, it's not a big deal for some of these grains. But if I start having three or four fields on the go that I'm harvesting, then these are really going to run out of space pretty quickly, particularly if I don't sell it straight away. So what I've actually done, everybody, is I've gone ahead and uploaded a mod, or downloaded a mod even, and let's just find it here. Should be right at the end. It is. This Lizard Grain Storage, 25k, so it's really reasonable, and it's got a 300,000 litre capacity. Wow, that is way better, way better stats than that 90 gram bloody 300,000 litre 
um, root crop storage, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure this does, it does. It actually can take root crops also. It's probably a, a bit on the cheap side if I'm 100% honest, but let's say that it was a cash job by one of the locals that helped me out. Why not? A bit of role play, let's get into it. Anyway, we've got this uh, fairly large plough on the back now. I'm just hoping this tractor's going to have the capacity to be able to pull this thing with ease. I think it should. And we can get this field... To, uh, I, what I can do is I can get the headland completed and then look to set... I might have to do two laps of the headland and then set a worker away and let him com complete the re remainder of the field. And then I can go and attend to my other two fields. I've got three other fields, in fact. One of them has got rye sowing in it at the moment which is growing quite nice oh there goes my gate i completely missed oh well let's just keep going we'll go to the next gate um and the other two i cultivated the corn and uh the soybeans and so they're just sitting there waiting to be sown uh with the new crop so i'll get it go ahead and get those done oh nice really really soon i'll do a quick recap on how the farm's looking very very soon but let's get this thing underway let's just test it out actually it's probably the way to go let's unfold it this thing is a freaking beast. I think... I think we want to flip it over the other way, actually, just quietly. We do. It's a bit slow. It'll be interesting to see where the outline of this field is. I just want to make sure that I've got this on allow crate fields. There we go. And let's see. There should be an edge around this. If we go boom. Is that in? It is. There should be an edge around this field. And... I'm just going to have to try to find it. That's going right, I think. Let's have a look here, everybody. I'm going right against this edge here, so... We might as well just keep it across the tree. Man, I'm going way too close there. We might as well keep it along the tree line, though. Look at that. Nice. We might as well do that, because that will keep... Uh, that will ensure a nice, even headland. So yeah, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is what we're going to do. It's going to take a bit of time to get this completed. But once it is, that's going to open up a tremendous amount of capacity to get some further grain crops into storage. And so when we do get some high prices or need a bit of money or we get a great demand, fingers crossed we get a great demand for some of the stuff we've got stored at the moment, then we're going to be in a very, very good position to sell that on with a ton in uh, storage hopefully and rake in the money and that's that, that's something that uh, will be good to do sooner rather than later hold on here is that my field on that side of the trees let's see the answer is no i think that's part of the sawmill technically oh is this my field i think that is my field over there but it's annoying to go around those trees so we're not going to if it is my field then what i'll, I'll go and check it out what i'll do is i'll actually look to use that for some grass they can be used a nice little mini field to grow grass, create some bales, all that good stuff. So here we are, we're ripping around the outside here. I still can't really see that I've uh, hit any sort of boundary at this point. But that might be it. Just on the right hand side I think it might be just hitting the boundary. It's hard to tell sometimes, but we can test that out later on. It's a little bit hard to see, obviously, with, our, uh, with the fog going on. It is for me at least. So there we go. So what I'll do now, guys, is I'll just pause, not pause it up, but I'll just stop this in action right here. Let's just turn that off. We'll come back to that very, very, very soon. And let me just give you a recap on what's happening on the farm. Um, so if we take a look at our map right here, over, if we look at the growth, fruit types. So over in field number 34, if we just go to fruit types number two, we've got our rye. That's what we've got growing in there. For the first time I've ever done rye, so it'll be interesting, interesting to see the sort of um, yield we get off that. What I have also done is I've completed, um, why is 9 showing as soybeans? 9 should not, it's actually, I've harvested number 9, so maybe there's one or two hanging around that's showing that it's still got soybeans, but it hasn't. Oh no, that's just showing what it was previously in there, so it's got nothing in it, uh, field number 9 by the way, totally harvested. Field number 10 is our little grass field, let's not worry about that. Field number 13, I harvested corn we got a nice amount there you saw that in the last video so we've got 9 and 13 we've got to think about what are we going to sow next in those 
Field 34, we've got Ryan, of course, we've just picked up field number 15. So we're starting to buy up those surrounding fields around the main yard here. And I think that's going to put us in a good position. Uh, if we look at what's in the silos at the moment, 30,000 of wheat, obviously, um, from last time, 23,000 of barley. So nothing's changed there. We have now got a hundred, uh, sorry, 13,397 of soybean. So not massive in there. Um, we've got some down at the other... I wonder if that counts the stuff down at the other silo. No, it didn't take it, so it doesn't. That's all we've got. It's only a small field. We gave some to the pigs. We've got 111,000 litres of corn, so it's a nice amount there. And, of course, we've got our big 300,000 litres of, um, of sugar beets right there. So nothing else in the silos right now. If we take a look at animals, they are going very, very well at the moment. Uh, this cleanliness will go up to 100 very soon. I just cleaned out... Oh, no, the pigs. I haven't done those yet ignore me but apart from that we've now up to 39 pigs fantastic probably once I get to 45ish I'll look to sell some of those maybe down to 40 just keep that income ticking along our cows we've got 16 we got that new cow last time things are ticking along quite nicely um, they are both 100% productivity no sheep yet might look at picking up some sheep at some stage but not a huge priority a little bit of forestry I might do a little bit of hand forestry soon if that is a thing I'm thinking I might just jump into the forest, grab my chainsaw, cut down a few trees, cut them into um, just little segments and throw it on the back of the of the uh, lizard pickup truck there. And I think that could be a good way to go, just to earn a little bit of extra income. But anyway guys, I just thought I'd throw together just a quick little episode there, just showing you what we're up to. You might even look to live stream uh, putting this field together and sowing the other crops in the other fields and harvesting the rye up the top field. Uh, so look out for that either on YouTube or on Twitch. But hey guys, thanks for tuning in for the next episode. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and as always, till next time, take it easy. <laughs>